Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And I've been doing a lot of flowers, but I also found this way cool tangle by um, Olga Barco. And I just have to share, I just thought it was so darn cute and so easy. Little, little bugs. And so I'm going to do it on a bookmark because school has just started here and kids are going back to school and I don't know, I've just been reading, my husband needed a bookmark you always use a bookmark and I'm an, uh, a librarian by, by trade I was a librarian and so you just have to keep them up so we're just going to take the bookmark and we're just going to start with a zigzag So I go all the way down my bookmark with a zigzag and now I'm going to come back and I'm going to make kind of a, a petal shape and I'm just going to let it flow from one side to the other. all the way down and now we're going to come back and I'm going to make I'm just going to connect it so it kind of has a little heart shape easy little tangle but just with her her scent um, Olga's little added things what a darling little tangle. Now we have this kind of hearts shapes but I'm going to turn it so that it's going this direction so I can see where I have three lines connecting I'm going to I should say I'm going to change over to an 05 because I can work a little better. I'm going to fill in so I'm going to just fill in this little tip. So right here I have the tip and I'm going to fill that in. All the way down I fill that in. And now I'm going to switch back to my um, 01 and I'm just going to put three little echoed lines right here in the tip where that that heart kind of opposite of what I just did and my little friendly bugs just start showing up but it, it's just getting cuter and cuter and then we can do some little antennae here all the way up and of course it can't be finished until we um, add a few black dots on them and they can vary I, I liked the fact that Olga didn't make them all the same she just did so I followed kind of in her footsteps and some I did a lot of dots on some some lightly dotted some went around the edges but it's just And some were bigger and work their way in but you can see how much fun this is to do and you can shade these I I did a little shade I didn't do all of them I put just a little pink on just 
part of them. You do need to wait until your ink dries well because when you go to use your um, if you uh, your color pencil and your odorless paint thinner, it will it will bring out, out some the black. So if you wait just a little bit until that ink is dry, you can blend that odorless paint thinner out. And I just love the looks of it. Isn't that a great tangle? Great bookmarks, just a fun little tangle. Thanks, Olga, for your little... Oh, I didn't even give the name of this tangle. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Coquinetto? I'm sure that's not right. I'll give you the spelling so you can get it right. But this is a great tangle. Using um, colored pencils, um, your Micron 01 and 05. And you can shade it with... Um, just a little graphite. I put a little graphite right here in the center to give it a little depth. Great tangle. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. New videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And support comes from um, shopping at Inkadoodles.com. And the new item is the pink pencil. And with every pen or pencil that you buy, you get a shading stump as my compliment. Thanks again and have a great day.